Smell a rat. Feel that something is wrong. Patrick Henry says, I'm not going. I smell a rat. The fact that, you know, he was overseeing the investigation of the man who then put him in the Senate, I, they smell a rat there. And so... Go to the dogs. Become run down. My, my daughter's convinced that the country will go to the dogs if people... So they let their attractiveness, their original attractiveness, go to the dogs, as it were. You know, I'm not taking care of myself because I got them now. Fishy means strange and suspicious. My release engineers are going to look at that and say, yeah, this is legitimate or this smells fishy. There, there should be, it should smell like fish, but it shouldn't smell fishy, you know what I mean? It Take the ball by the horns. Take decisive action in a difficult situation. Um, that we don't have to wait any longer. Now we can take the bull by the horns. We can start modifying ourselves. I'll be down the road, and, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So I thought this is the best time to, to just take the bull by the horns and, and run with it. Horse of a different color, quite a different matter. Uh, but cut, Cutter is very different, it's a horse of a different color. It is, it is about as different from most of the rest of the Arab states. So when we call it the end of the day, I hope we see eye to eye. So in the meantime, what I would ask you to do is hold on to your horses, even if your horse is of a different color. And I promise, I promise I won't beat a dead one. Let the cat out of the bag. Inform beforehand. Well, John Ehrlichman actually let the cat out of the bag. He right. gave a quote in Harper's Magazine. Now, I know you don't want to let the cat out of the bag before sure. the speech, but what are some of the key issues you're going to be focused on? For the birds, uninteresting and meaningless. Frequently I say in my head, this stuff is for the birds. I want to go home, I'm done. Yawning to cool your brain isn't just for the birds. Straight from the horse's mouth, from a reliable source. He died in 1922, so no one would ever learn otherwise straight from the horse's mouth. But let's look at Falkenhayn in general for a minute. It's basically getting that straight from the horse's mouth about how I wouldn't say he'd go as far as to say he's changing the culture of the whole agency, but he certainly changed the culture within his um, unit. He talks about that. Horse around. Play around. Or let's just horse around until something funny happens. And if you're clean and sober, hooray for you. Uh, in new crop beans, uh, so I, I, I wouldn't horse around too long here getting something done. Now, if you don't, Cat got your tongue, can't talk. Someone might say to you, hey, has the cat got your tongue? I don't have a cat, what are you talking about? Get in someone's hair, bother someone. Children, would you please stop making so much noise? And for heaven's sake, pick up your clothes and toys. It's hard enough trying to keep this house clean without your throwing your things all over the place. Clara, I know that the children get in your hair, but you should try not to let it upset you so much. Listen, Jim, I can't help it. The children bother me and make me very angry when they're so noisy and messy. Shoot off one's mouth. Express one's opinions loudly. Those are areas in which the willingness to shoot his mouth off. Jump down someone's throat. Become angry with someone. Another thing about knowledge is if you don't want to know, you don't have to. Knowledge will not chase you down the street and jump down your throat to be working for a company where the people above you, um, you know, do not uh, jump down your throat if you do fail. Pay through the nose. 
pay too high a price. Amazon is going to have the leverage. They're either going to send you a private label or they're going to make a brand pay through the nose to be the default genes to all of our language. Free insurance is worthless. You have to pay for the service. You don't have to pay through the nose. It doesn't mean that you need to be, you know, that people need to steal from you or take your money. Tongue in cheek. Not serious. Um, but it's it also when when you're as you're reading it, you realize that it's something that's not, you know, you know, with tongue in cheek, it's not nothing is pushed. There's there's you're earning this over the length of time of the show. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I mean I I don't know, almost tongue in cheek. I say this is probably the most important education funding bill that's been passed in a long time. And, and it's big. <laughs> Pull someone's leg. Fool someone. I said, ask Boris if he's pulling my leg. So he said, what, what? I said, pulling my leg. Bill, how can he pull your leg? You're sitting here, he's sitting there. No, is he kidding me? Is he joking? No, 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 we have this gun and we can shoot people. And I'm thinking. If you're somebody in history, just saying, and somebody's doing a a, a, a research uh, it, that is very quantitative, we can actually help to say that person is not trying to pull your leg and it's just hasn't done anything for the last year. Uh, so that, that can help a little bit. Play it by ear. Improvise as one goes along. And he said, listen, you know, kids develop in different ways. Don't worry about it. Just let's just play it by ear. But just to be sure, let's go see a neurologist. Um, unfortunately, we do have some more storms coming in tonight. Um, so we'll just have to see and play it by ear, but it won't be anything like yesterday. Stick out one's neck. Take a risk. Okay, I'm going to ask you to stick your neck out a little bit. Look ahead as far as you can, 10, 20 years down the road. And many people laughed at the 5 for 15 movement at first. But unless you take risks, unless you stick your, your neck out, nothing is going to change. Shake a leg. Hurry. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Alex. Is everybody like still awake? Do we need to stand up, like shake a leg? Drink more coffee. Anything, yeah. Come on, shake a leg. Thank you. All thumbs. Clumsy. Cousins couldn't put anything together. He gave him a model toy. He couldn't do it. All thumbs. You know, because I, I can't fix nothing. I can screw in light bulbs. Well, beyond that, I'm kind of helpless. I'm all thumbs and... Not have a leg to stand on. To have no good defense for one's opinions or actions. Sometimes I do see people that will copy things and stuff like that, and they've changed it up, and they would not be... They wouldn't have a legal leg to stand on. Get off someone's back. Stop bothering someone. I got into Cooper Union, but I ended up going to Cal to do architecture, so he'd get off my back of yelling me for doing art school. Uh, people spell-checking me. I don't need that. If you knew what I was saying, get off my back. Drive someone up a wall. Annoy someone greatly. This baggage of religious law have certain sensitivities that's going to drive them up a wall if you do certain things, so... String someone along. Lead someone on dishonestly. And I think the issue is, I think the challenge for the president is going to be if the North Koreans string along the process, which they always have in the past, he's going to come under a lot of pressure from the right, which is going to begin begin to question the strategy. Right now, we string along so many people who are waiting decades for answers from the federal government. And again, that is not responsible governing. Sell someone down the river. Betray someone. He's, he, he's, he's, gonna, he's gonna sell you down the river. You know, you better, uh, you, you know, well, I'm using all my 50s analogies. He's gonna put you away for good. They don't get full justice. And they sell people down the river, they take the quick money. Leave someone high and dry. Abandon someone. To 
there's no greater love. And he's not going to leave you high and dry. I can promise you that. For that group of folks to actually walk out on strike, leave the students behind, leave the administrators high and dry, would be a really tough thing for them to do from a political standpoint, would not play very well. Sell someone short, underestimate someone. And does that mean you should go and sell short X, Y, Z today? No, but the ongoing rolling consequences. But let us not sell short something that the scriptures talk so much about. Snow job, insincere talk. Reports all the time, look, it's more evidence of evolution. It's a snow it's, job, yeah. It's, it's evolution only if you limit the meaning of that word to what creationists would agree with. Right. Animals change, speciation happens. If you want to call that evolution, well, that's very confusing. Right. right? I just saw this, uh, Mr. Heiss, all right? <clears throat> I don't like a snow job, you know? In other words, I try to help people. Spill the beans. Reveal a secret. What is it, you may ask? I'm not telling you. But we do have some very, very special guests here who will spill the beans in just a few minutes. They recognize he was a king. That's what the gold was all about. But now we have frankincense. And essentially, here's what we have. I'll spill the beans before we even get into it. Feed someone a line. Deceive someone. That's exactly what yeah, the project is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual Garfield. You feed it a line, he'll respond sarcastically. Um. On ice. Set aside for future use. Of course, people are very unhappy. And then there was a upheaval about the fact that the president had essentially declared himself above the law, and it was put on ice. A short while later, Yanukovych put the European agreement on ice. Shoot the breeze. Chat informally. And I think students these days uh, are don't have the time to do that kind of uh, just sit around and, and shoot the breeze kind of thing. Big box wholesalers, the general store also served as an unofficial meeting place for townspeople to gather and shoot the breeze. Bite the dust. Go down in defeat. The next sort of part of the, if you, if you go to the next part of, of the blog, they filter on usability and then two more sort of bite the dust. While their theories bite the dust. Bend over backwards. Try very hard. The, they've just continued to bend over. The government's continued to bend over backwards. And... But I'm very confident that NATO is going to be strengthened coming out of this. And I think this, the, uh, everybody will bend over backwards in Warsaw to make sure that's clear. Hit the hay. Go to bed. I think we're going to smash this dinner and then hit the hay because we have a really big day tomorrow, so stay tuned. Oof! Computer's overheating. I'll just send our findings to the proper authorities and hit the hay. Cough up. Give unwillingly. Uh, why don't you cough up something that I can auction off for my foundation? Hardware plus software has to do something that's valuable enough to cause people to cough up enough money to pay for the hardware and the software. Jump the gun. To be hasty. So for the next eight years, next four years at least, let me not jump the gun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, with, um, I mean, the commander, we we're going to talk about that a little bit later. I don't want to jump the gun, but. Scratch someone's back. Return a favor. Right? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Both partners get what they need. You know, I scratch your back today, you'll scratch mine tomorrow. In some ways, that's what similarity is. Hit the ceiling. Become very angry. 
it got it got to 15 billion million dollars or so uh, and you know I was young and that was a lot of money at the time but it, it had hit the ceiling because I had to be there all the time. And so as a health officer that had cared for young women that had been addicted to tobacco and then saw the consequences of on, on the birth and low birth weight, I hit the ceiling when I heard about this. Fork over, hand over, give. And what are you going to do with millions and tens of millions of people who have lost everything in their bank account? You, you will have a revolution on your head. So fork over the money. Or who could you ask for help? So in the first case, London, well, I could fork over some money, fly to Spain, get some sun, undo the damage. Turn someone off. Disgust someone. So this is what I call trade sec secrets. So when people come to me, the number one thing that, that turns me off is if people aren't balanced. Distasteful images, but if it's so in my face, it actually turns me off. And now my chances of, of interacting with that brand in the future are, are pretty slim. Go fly a kite. Go away. Present world ventures to friends you like. You can earn a good living. Or go fly a kite. <laughs> Last year, over 130 members of Congress asked the White House for more transparency about what's been negotiated, and were essentially told to go fly a kite. Kick the bucket. Die. Now that I'm an, an elder, I'm in the last part of my life, and uh, I know that I could kick the bucket at any moment. And when I do, I don't want my grandchildren to go, oh gosh, I wish I'd asked that about grandpa. Uh, next on the kick the bucket list is diabetes, which can be prevented with a plant-based diet. And raise a stink, protest strongly. I can raise a stink and, and try to rain hellfire down on your district. <laughs> <laughs> or, or I can say nothing and just wait for you to tell me what to do. That they, they sort of raise a stink about the, the spotted owl because they want to negotiate better wages for workers. Or they raise a stink about water because they want to advocate for affordable housing. Wet blanket. Dull or boring person who spoils the happiness of others and traders and people on Wall Street said that those kinds of reforms would throw a wet blanket over the economy, that they would inhibit innovation. They have all the fun the and then yes. you're the wet the blanket. Rolling. Yeah, you're the wet blanket. Keep under one's hat. Keep something a secret. And I mentioned that, oh my God, Jean-Marc finally has decided that it's time to get married. And Jean-Marc asked me to Keep it under my hat. Up one's sleeve. Concealed. Watch the coin, watch the marker. The marker actually starts up my sleeve. I'm not supposed to show you this. It goes, that's where it starts. When I need it, I pop it out of my sleeve, shake it out of the sleeve like this, and we create a little suction, a little vacuum, negative pressure inside the cap. <laughs> like, but alas, that was not met by my students, but that's okay, because I had another trick up my sleeve, another answer to the big question, and that was, math is helpful. Dressed to kill. Wear one's finest clothing. The dude is the best dressed villain in comic. In fact, he's dressed to kill. That's such a good joke. You walk down the street, and there is a girl dressed to kill. Give someone the slap. Make a getaway. He'll drive. Give him the keys, give him the pink slip, give him control. Knock someone's socks off. Enthuse and excite. So, the love of life's inspired moments, the knock your socks off, change your life forever, love at first sight kind of moments. Uh, today, you can go uh, download Thucydides' Great History of the Peloponnesian War uh, uh, for free uh, and just read the first hundred pages. And if it doesn't knock your socks off, I'll be surprised. Okay?
talk through one's head. Make foolish statements. Break of errors. You ha can't have a completely random world. So, yeah, I don't think you're going to have complete spontaneity, but that sounds like uh, I'm uh, talking through my hat. You know, That's why I picked on you. Yeah. Lose one's shirt. Lose a great deal of money. Wants to buy a cable television station. Everyone says, that's crazy, you're going to lose your shirt. And he's like, no, I'm going to do it anyway. Something for, uh, for South America. So it was always, not, it wasn't, you know, one plus one plus one uh, equal four. It was, you know, somehow just make sure I don't lose my shirt. In stitches, laughing very hard. A humorous anecdote. He was reported to keep the table in stitches. Robin Williams, you know, he just passed away. Um, first of all, I think he would have us in stitches the entire time, so it would be a really fun hangout. Dressed to the teeth. Dressed elegantly. Did you see Hilda at the party last night? Yes, I did. She was really dressed to the teeth. Well, she had on her finest, most elegant clothing because she was out to make a good impression on Bill. Lemon. Something defective. I, I think you should just make this a habit and get a new trailer every year. Well, is that what you're doing? Because I know you've got a little bit of a lemon in your life. Yeah, I've got one of those fun Dieselgate Volkswagens. So uh, the good news on my end is they're for sure buying it back and they're going to give me a couple extra thousand dollars to boot, so... Out of the woods. Out of danger. All these animals got down to fewer than two dozen. And they're not out of the woods completely, but they're in the hundreds now. They're stable. As any American who is still looking for work or a way to pay their bills will tell you, we are by no means out of the woods. Get up on the wrong side of the bed. Wake up in a bad mood. Finally, an arm that won't go numb from laying on it. You can always get up on the wrong side of the bed and step in your blobfish slippers, the most beautiful creature in the animal kingdom, right next to your dog. Out on a limb in a risky position. And he really went out on a limb on that one. However, I do think there, and I'm, you know, maybe out on a limb or not. Eating someone, bothering or worrying someone. If you let yourself, you know, sure, I wish I could have played that, you know. But if you eat yourself up like that, you, you destroy something yeah. that's very important. Get the axe. Be dismissed. Fired. Very bad mistake. Career-ending kind of mistake. And she thought she'd get the axe and that would be it. It's very hard to know when to get the axe out. Yeah, yeah. In the hole. In debt. Even after paying all those premiums, you're now in the hole for 100000 or $200,000 and you're going bankrupt or losing your house. By the time they get done with that drug trial, they're $1.8 billion in the hole. Bite the bullet. Endure in a difficult situation. A name brand device that was used previously by another individual or you have to bite the bullet and go to a hearing clinic and actually buy new ones. So, you know, it's just, and I had to let go of it. You know, I had to just bite the bullet and just let it go and just be like, okay, you have to be strong. You have to be brave. Face the music. Accept the consequences. Forcing Facebook in effect to face the music of all the harm done when those groups were allowed to advertise he has a felony. Mm -hmm. So your son has a felony, right? He drives the car. Yep. And you come down here and plead on his behalf. Yeah, I know. Right? 
I think it would have been better if you stayed home with your other child and sent your son down here so that he could face the music. Well, when I leave back. here, I have an IEP to go to for my son. Blow it. Fail at something. And that's like part of it, right? If you give young men a lot of money, they will blow it on weird things. Um, but. <laughs> We're not gonna save money for the future because we know future us is gonna go blow it at a casino. At the ends of one's rope, at the limits of one's ability to cope. My back is not against the wall. I am not at the end of my rope and throwing in the towel is not an option. You know, there's always another case, there's always another investigation, there's always another headline. But in that person's life, you know, when they are at the end of their rope, when they've had the most difficult thing happen to them, that's only gonna happen to them once. And how you deal with them and how you interact with them will live with them forever. So I ask them to think about that. On one's last legs, sick and failing, what I was thinking I was going to talk about. <laughs> that was the dying dinosaur. I mean, I, monotheism is on its last legs and is behaving very badly as it dies. Uh, they're very reluctant to uh, release any personal information. Uh, we may find out someone's dying when they're already on their you know, last leg. Hot under the collar. Extremely angry of writing, of speaking out, of making a decision when they are very, very hot under the collar. But the good news is it turned out he was a fan of mine. It's okay. He, he was a little hot under the collar also. On the line, in danger of being lost. And police who put their lives on the line every single day to help keep us safe. There are real stakes, right? People's lives are on the line. Um, it's scary. For a song, for very little money. Why am I keeping open these factories when I can buy the active ingredients from China for a song? He liquidated his assets, sold his company to his investors for a song, um, and moved into a parish and became a priest. Make a splash. Be successful and attract attention. In other words, it is not enough to make a splash of Christmas and downplay Good Easter and Friday. And said, we need to do this all at one time. We need to make a splash. Have the world by the tail. Be successful and happy. Make you feel like a, a nobody. Boy, he's going out. He's got the world by the tail. Man, he's handsome. And the semantic layer cake is buying you a solution. It's like um, I had the world by the tail and then it started wagging me phenomena. So we're going, we go through these cycles a lot. Sitting pretty in a fortunate position and he's looking pretty, sitting pretty pretty. Um, actually, they're not the scientists, but these are the sort of the doers, the software programmers. Um, they looked like they were sitting pretty, wearing the white lab coats. Feel like a million dollars. Feel wonderful. They smile, it's like, oh, they call you ma'am. They, they, they're very polite. Once yeah. a year, Fleet Week, they, they make uh, New York women feel like a million yes, dollars. Yes, they That's do. <laughs> they do. Kick up one's heels. Celebrate. You want to know if you're allergic to cats. You have 10 cats. You give up all 10 of your cats. But like Saturday morning, you like kick your heels up with the cat. On Friday night, you're like, I'm just going to have like one little cat, right? <laughs> Big, loud, raucous, joyous, you know, kick up your heels and yeah. celebrate kind of sound. Bury the hatchet. Make peace. People are tribal. We can turn us versus them, or we can bury the hatchet and, and trade and exchange. And social media is almost like being force-fed a constant stream of outrage stories, including video. Paint the town red. Carouse and have a good time. 
It doesn't even paint the town red like you might expect from a beet, since sugary juice is more like molasses than you might be picturing. It's light brown instead of beet red. All right, so let's go. Let's go out. Let's go show. Right, let's go paint the town red. Right. Get away clean. Escape punishment. He did it. He probably spilled it. So like, oh, okay, I have an excuse to like clean up this and get away from Jason. So. Come alive. Brighten up and become active. It's it's really important to sort of make sure you're considering the actual medium that this user interface is going to come alive in uh, and do that much sooner in your process. First, you have to find your purpose, and, and you find that by getting outside of your comfort zone. And then once you read those signs that you will be inevitably surrounded by, you'll find the thing that makes you most come alive and take that small step and then follow the signs along the path. Toot one's own horn. Boast. And I know, I understand, uh, you can toot your own horn here, I guess, if you want, but the online education program at ASU seems to be much more advanced than in other universities in the country. It, but I sort of believe that if, if there was a, if it wasn't so taboo to toot your own horn about what you've given, then perhaps we can create a culture around it. Stick to one's guns. Maintain one's position. Uh, that we just have to be patient. You know, it's, it works over time and it's cyclical and so it's out of favor and we just have to stick to our guns because it's something that's worked. Maybe we needed to go around it, uh, started gearing up to do so, but then kind of quickly pivoted back and said, no, let's stick to our guns. The only way this is gonna be impactful Get the ball rolling. Initiate action. He went to Delaware early on to the representative. Delaware only had 1,800 slaves. He said, let's get the ball rolling. We'll buy all your slaves. We'll free them. Delaware said, no way. We're not interested in this, Lincoln. Get out of here. Whether it's saving all your dollar bills, a change jar, or automating the savings, it's a good way to get the ball rolling. Mind one's P's and Q's. Take care in speech and action. But they never gave me a substitute, so I just had to, to mind my, my own P's and Q's. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm gonna mind my P's and Q's over the 1970s extension. Hang on. Persevere. And you get your hip dislocated, there's a little pain going on. Okay, don't give up. Hang on. This is a test. Chronic asthma, that well, type of thing. Or, or heavy smokers, for example. Absolutely. So, so hang on. I, I, I omitted that okay, category, okay. which you is a very... You did it on purpose. No. I <laughs> you wanted me to ask you another question. Uh, no, but that's really important, and that's something I've been trying to explain. Give it one's best shot. Try hard. All in all, I think this pizza was quite good. I was pleasantly surprised by it. I thought it was a good pizza. And uh, I wouldn't hesitate to try it again, and I recommend that you go out and, and give this a shot. It's an interesting pizza from Little Caesars. This I can't even pronounce. <laughs> give it your best shot. Let's let's hear it. No, I did. No, come no. on. Nigiri Mishi. That, that, that is correct. That's you did bad. it. That's, That's perfect. Good. I can read. Yeah. <laughs> Make ends meet. Pay one's bills of a husband and father who spent years struggling to make ends meet and became a billionaire almost overnight. But I, I, I sense that uh, if we get into a situation where we're, we're trying to make ends meet and we're, we're not quite right, that the, that... Get the jump on someone. Get the advantage over someone. It was the fact that they had real-time simultaneousness whatever the word, simultaneous, whatever it is, mm -hmm. to uh, allow them to get the jump on these, the well-organized and overwhelming forces of the evil regime. There are many people who's always somebody who's gonna be ahead of you, and so any kind of way that you can get mm -hmm. get the jump on people, you do. Of course, now you, don't, you can't cut pages out anymore. None no, of that is, fortunately. is relevant. Pull strings, exert influence, we were, uh, we, 
I told my wife totally wanted to go to that. And I was gonna like pull strings to try and get tickets because like it was more like it was clear that the students had like first dibs. Yeah. And I'm like, I gotta be able to like get a little bit of a flex in here and like spread oneself too thin. Become involved in too many activities. Especially from a work standpoint, I see it very often. You know, you're adding more projects, you're adding more work because you want to be that team player. And all of a sudden you're spread too thin and you're not as valuable to your team or to the business unit as you could be because there's no focus. When I'm spread too thin and there's mm -hmm. too much happening, I am not at my best. Simplify yeah. to amplify, right? Go to bat for someone. Help out and support someone. We're going to go to bat for you in every way possible to cut, you know, the cost of living down so that you can you can afford this opportunity. What they've discovered is that they will not have a more loyal employee uh, who will go to bat for them, work harder, be more productive uh, because they've been given a second chance. Duck soup. Easy, effortless. The other four points in this five point system more or less fall in line. They become duck soup. We are very interested in expectation values of the coordinate and the momentum. And for a harmonic oscillator, this is duck soup. Money talks. Money can influence people. Meanwhile, you do have to worry about inflation targets. Well, I think one reason to be a little more pessimistic is yeah. that uh, money talks ever louder now in politics. But money talks, so I do think the financial, interpreting the work financially and showing the impact um, financially is worthwhile. Let sleeping dogs lie. Do not agitate a potential source of trouble. I feel like I'm getting new life, resurrected. Woo, look at this. Let a sleeping dog lie. Don't give him a foothold. Shape up or ship out. Behave properly or leave. That's a powerful, powerful elixir. It's gonna go in that gut. I feel it right now. Talking to my good gut bacteria, telling them to shape up or ship out. We got the probiotics from the apple cider vinegar depend on politicians changing their behavior or the media changing their behavior because we did not want to write these sort of shape up or ship out yeah i mean they have no incentive people. to yeah. right they're not they're not going to and we could say oh but look it affects the children and they'll say oh that's a shame and they'll continue doing the same thing if the shoe fits wear it admit the truth and if the shoe fits wear it you know there's a cliche that says if the shoe fits Wear it. Different strokes for different folks. Everyone has different interests and tastes. You go out and, and you integrate it into the company. Uh, so I think you have to be you have to be careful and different strokes for different folks depending upon the company. <laughs> but I mean, if we just had the attitude that different strokes for different folks, you know, and and bark worse than one's bite. Not as bad-tempered as one appears. Kind of funky in smell, but its bark is worse than its bite. It's really rich, creamy, buttery cheese. Eyes are bigger than one's stomach. Take more food than one can eat. In the water. I don't know if they can eat that thing. The fins are too big, like it ate it backwards. His eyes are a little bigger than his stomach on that one. Chicken, come look at this, this snake. This is still alive. The fish is still alive, huh, guys? Oh, I, I've seen deals fall apart where people have been hanging in for 10, 12 years, and really what it is at the end of the day, your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Put one's money where one's mouth is. Follow through with a stated intention. <laughs> Get very specific. Say, would you help fund a program that created a service year opportunity for every young American of every economic strata. Would you put your money where your mouth is, your political capital? Would you do that? 
So those are the AEW ladies. They put their money where their mouth is. And on this particular issue, uh, we, ref we definitely have some street cred. The early bird catches the worm. Arriving early gives one an advantage. Today's question comes from Sia and she writes, Hey Marie, there's a saying, the early bird catches the worm. But I have to admit, I've never been fond of mornings. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. One should not criticize when one is equally at fault. There seems to be a lot of confusion on the conservative side of the aisle right now. I think those of us who live in glass houses should not throw stones, by the way, but... So the moral of the story is, you know, people in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, but more likely is this. All's well that ends well. A successful outcome is worth the effort. My third husband, well, we're friends on Facebook now. So all's well that ends well, right? Where I, I focus on making sure that I really, really put my intentionality where it needs to be. We, we, we all heard the expression, all is well that ends well. I, I'm here to tell you all's well that begins well. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Always check the description area for more links, for more information. So I would definitely suggest you to check them out. Listen, read and repeat all of these idioms, which are super, super practical and popular in American English. Until next video, live long and prosper. Take care.